Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video, uh, continuing my M1967 Field Gear series. Today, I'll be showing you guys the M1967 sleeping bag carrier. Um, it's kind of an interesting design, to say the least. So, there was a couple ways that you could carry this. Um, first off, you could uh, open up this Velcro, put the back of your uh, M or M67 pistol belt, um, and then connect the or the suspenders to the belt, and then or um, the clips up here, or you could uh, loop the suspenders through these bits of Velcro right here, which was kind of a weird design in my opinion, and then you would just um, put your poncho and poncho liner or sleeping bag up through here and then just cinch it up with these buckles here. Now you may uh, took note, take a note of this velcro that's on some other field gear too. What this velcro is for is just to um, help prevent chafing on the bag actually. So nothing was ever meant to attach to it, it was just to help it keep from wearing through and chafing. Or, there's another way, so once you had it all up, and uh, unfortunately the stamp is worn and um, you can't see the US stamp or the manufacturer's stamp. I estimate by how the brown the uh, material is turning, I'd say it's about 1968. Um, another way that you could wear this though, is that these clips would sit on the back of your um, M67 suspenders where you clip your butt pack. And then they would connect here, and then this strap just wouldn't do anything. Um, I wanted to take note though, uh, an interesting thing that you can do is that while these are still kind of not that easy to get, we can all admit that these, the lightweight rucksacks, are really not that easy to get. Um, sometimes when you get them, you might find that the fabric is ripped off or just missing. Uh, this material, however, is exactly the same as this. So, although it wouldn't be too unethical to, I suppose you could cut this up to repair one of these. It is documented, however, that um, a lightweight rucksack um, had its flap replaced with one of the um, sleeping bag carriers, and it looked sort of like this. It is slightly bigger than the flap, so you have extra room, so I suppose if you ever want to make a reproduction flap for whatever reason that was accurate, you could um, take a seam ripper and undo all these and make it uh, accurate. Um, but that's just something that I want to share with you guys. So if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, just leave them down in the comments below and have a nice day.